Good evening. We begin with a new Ben Cousins bombshell. The Brownlow medalist is facing more time behind bars after failing a drug test in a Perth prison. Nine News can exclusively reveal the former Eagle has been ordered to complete extra rehabilitation and he won't be eligible for release as expected at the end of the month. Less than a fortnight ago, Brian Cousins opened up about his doubts that his son could turn his life around. And I'm not for one minute convinced that that will happen, but he's, um, you know, he's just doing some good things. That uncertainty proving justified. Nine News can reveal that Ben Cousins has failed a drug test while behind bars. His lawyer confirming, although when Mr Cousins was first remanded in custody, he tested positive to an illicit substance on one occasion, he is currently drug free and in positive spirits. After almost six months in jail for repeatedly breaching a violence restraining order against his ex-partner, the father of two is supposed to be eligible for parole in two weeks. But we can also reveal his application has been delayed, the parole board ordering him to complete further rehabilitation courses at Acacia Prison. The revelation sparking questions about how the drugs were accessed. A lot of them come through visits, some come through balls over the walls, um, some come through um, minimum uh, security prisoners. Rehab centre owner Peter Lyndon James says jail can be the worst place for addicts. Instead of having mandatory prison uh, sentences, I think rehabilitation needs to be another option. The Justice Department admits that during the last round of random testing across all WA prisons, it was estimated 2.4% of inmates had used drugs. But it says prevention measures include searching visitors, drug testing and detection dogs. Prison sources say inmates who fail drug tests can be charged internally, slapped with extra restrictions and even kept behind bars for longer. If Cousins is made to serve his full prison term, he's looking at another six months in jail. But his lawyer says he'll reapply for parole after completing the extra rehab courses. Renee Henry, Nine News.